Welcome to the video portion of Light Racer Development Journal, days five and six. Let me go ahead and get this started and I'll talk about it. Uh, what, what I've been working on the last two days is I have added code in that can dynamically tile the screen, uh, or the world I should say, um, in preparation for better AI code. Because the good AI code I'm going to use can't deal with all the pixels, it would be too slow. So what we're doing is breaking it into tiles. And the tiles are um, going to significantly reduce the amount of CPU that's required to be able to compute things like the A-star, pathfinding algorithm, and a prediction algorithm, and other things to make the game much more difficult. But I'll just show you again real quick. Uh, what's happening here is the yellow player is the AI player, and right now it's just going north because there is no... Oops, I didn't really want to win. But there is no code for uh, that yellow play to go anywhere. All we're doing is we are testing this this tiling right here. And if you see that blue in the red area, the blue tiles, um, there's no outline on them, so it's just big blue fill. The blue tiles are open, meaning uh, they are areas that the, search, that the AI search algorithm can look at for... Um, for pathfinding. The red areas are, are tiles that are closed, meaning when it's finding a path, it's going to have to look around the red to be able to find a, find a valid path through the world. So uh, the big problem I had was getting the, the tile creation, because really there's about 1,400 tiles. Um, the size of the tiles is dependent on exactly the speed of the game that we have running, and uh, so like each level's faster and the tiles get a little bigger because between CPU or between um, ticks, there just isn't. Uh, you, you move further without being able to make a decision. Um, so, so the hard thing was actually getting this, getting the, the tiles generated uh, in a reasonable amount of time. Uh, it's, what we have is a total budget of 13 milliseconds for each AI player to do all computations, and that includes. Uh, um, taking taking a snapshot of the world, tiling it out, and computing the paths around the tiles, and then then deciding to take the first step on the path. Um, and that 13 milliseconds is actually kind of hard to do on a mobile device sometimes. So I had to make as an efficient algorithm as I could. There's more about it written on the site. But uh, yep, this is this is basic tiles for new AI coming up.